Today, the Supreme Court hearing arguments that could have wide-ranging effects on access to the abortion pill mifepristone. It's one of the most widely used abortion pills in the U.S. Today, justice is questioning the legal standing of the case. ABC's Perry Russell is in Washington. FDA, do your job! A thousand demonstrators by police estimates on both sides of the abortion rights issue outside the Supreme Court today. Inside, some justices appearing skeptical over the case that would alter access to the abortion drug, mifepristone. And this case seems like a, a prime example of turning what could be a small lawsuit into a nationwide legislative assembly on a, an FDA rule or any other federal government action. The Food and Drug Administration is being sued by Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine, an anti-abortion group accusing the FDA of unlawfully easing restrictions. Justice is questioning whether the group has legal standing to even bring the case. You need a person. You need a person to be able to come in and meet the court's regular standing requirements. Lawyers for the anti-abortion rights group claim doctors saw an increase in emergency room visits treating women who took the drug. Without question, the FDA's actions have made taking chemical abortion drugs less safe. Jessica Ellsworth represents the maker of Mifepristone. They fail to show under any rational legal standard why they have standing to bring this suit. The FDA says Mifepristone is safe when used as indicated and directed with serious side effects exceedingly rare. The FDA approved the drug nearly 25 years ago, making regulatory changes years later allowing it to be used up to 10 weeks of pregnancy instead of seven, and allowing it to be prescribed by mail. We, on behalf of FDA, think that courts have no business making those judgments. At least 13 protesters were arrested today. Capitol Police say they were blocking roads. A decision from the Supreme Court is expected by the end of June. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.